So, we just finished playing Hearthorn. This was my second day playing the game. I would say that it took me about... three hours to finish the game. Now, I know this game is actually supposed to only be an hour and something, but you know, things just take me a little longer to get through. So I'm just finishing it right now. Um, the story, the story was pretty interesting. I think it would actually, like, I actually think that the story would make a cool full length game. I think it's a really interesting story. Um, of how there was an art teacher and we still don't know if he was framed for what he did to the student or he actually killed the student or maybe I just missed that but I thought that'd be a cool revenge type of story um it kind of gave me um what game what uh what movie was that or what game was that shoot I literally just had it and I, I blanked out I'm totally blanking right now, but it gave me, uh, I think it could have made a cool full length game. Um, I don't know if I missed the fact that it was told whether he was actually truly guilty of the crime that he was framed for. Um, and if it was explained whoops my bad if it wasn't I think that's a pretty integral part of the story because at that point you could kind of be like okay I understand why he's doing what he's doing Welcome, or you could be like bro this man is tripping because he clearly did commit the crime and he's like trying to blow up the school as uh as revenge but he's clearly in the wrong so I don't know again if I missed that or what the situation is but I think this could have made a excuse me cool full-length type of um game also thank you so much BJ for excuse me <laughs> thank you so much for that scrumptious sub with your prime you could have chosen to um spend that prime on anyone and you chose me so I really appreciate that thank you very 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 much thank you I appreciate that. And I will be doing 10 exercise reps um, for that sub. And thank you for choosing to be part of Team Raven. Welcome to Team Raven. I hope you enjoy the emotes. And um, yes, enjoy your uh, being part of Team Raven. I hope you enjoy it. You have two points. Oh, okay. So correction, not three hours. It's about two, two hours and 15-ish minutes, something like that. Two hours and... 15 20 minutes something like that so that's for the length uh, and that's how long it took me so i'm pretty bad at games so if you're better than me it's gonna take you quicker it's a pretty short game so yeah story was interesting i liked it i just felt like there was a little bit of holes also like was he locked in that room the whole time which doesn't make sense because i thought that he had gone to like jail for the crime crime that he was framed for. So a little, little some holes, some holes were there. Um, but you really, you can't expect much, I guess, for a game that's meant to be an hour and something minutes. Music, not really a heavy, um, uh, not a lot of emphasis was given to the music. It wasn't supposed to be a heavily uh, music focused, mu musically focused game. I think the music did a good job of showing when certain scenes were escalating because he was close. But I don't know if after the music died, that automatically meant that he was out of your vicinity. I think that's what it meant because when he would say, oh my God, someone's coming, the music would really amp up and it would get very eerie and like there was a lot of drums or something um, or percussion, I guess. And then I would hide and then shortly after it would dissipate. So I took that as, okay, it's safe to come out now. I don't know if it was meant to be like that, but I thought the music did a good job at kind of letting you know oh, when things are picking up and when things are kind of staying level, you know. What? Thank you so much, BJ, for gifting that sub to Serial. 
Cereal, thank you so much, BJ, for gifting that stuff to Cereal. Cereal, welcome back to Team Raven. I hope you enjoy the emotes. And I'll be doing 10 exercise reps for that gifted sub, BJ. Thank you for using your hard-earned money to support my channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. The tense base when you hit the bombs and had to run was a nice touch. Yeah, and... I, I also liked, um, I also liked the, uh, the, mu the, the musical or sound effects when you would c complete an objective, because that would kind of show you that a, a, object uh, the current objective is complete, and now you have a new objective. And anytime you would get a new objective, there'd be like an audio cue for that with some kind of music or sound effects so I thought that that was pretty cool too um I did feel like the sounds were a little misleading kind of like in home sweet home where he would sound like he's super close to you it could just be my hearing but he would sound like he's super close to you but he's still relatively far or he would sound like he's on your left left but he's actually on your northwest area so those were a little tricky uh i don't i'm not a game designer so i don't know how difficult it is to create those sounds accurately so maybe that's super hard because this is the second game where i've complained about that and the other game that i complained about uh was a, a, a cheaper game as well like i it didn't it the graphics weren't that great there were some glitches um, a lot of glitches actually so it could just be a difficult thing to uh, sync up so yeah that's for the music and the sounds difficulty it wasn't really difficult like you guys mentioned and like I mentioned there were times where I was blatantly in front of the guy and he just passed me up he just like did not even acknowledge that I was right in front of him and then randomly I'd be in a corner and he would get me so that was a little confusing, but not really difficult. So I w I, it's not a difficult game. I did beat the game, X. You earned it. Keep it up. Thank you, BJ. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I think it was you, but I only watched today. So I don't know about the sounds earlier in the game. Oh, okay. So wait, you were able to figure out where the person was from, Habibi? Damn, that just means my hearing is actually garbage you yeah the game is super super short pretty much okay <laughs> um atmosphere and graphics well you know this game is not meant to have super great graphics so i wasn't expecting a lot from it um good thing is there weren't really any glitches it was just difficult it was like the game it was like it was like a game um that it, it was like, I don't know if you guys have played the game Escape 2088. So that's an escape room game. And it could be so straightforward to just click things and walk around. And the controls are made extra complicated for no reason. And I feel like this game complicated the controls for no apparent reason. And I think that was a little annoying. Like, I found the, the box. I found the code. I was ready to open it, but it took me so long just to open up the stupid box and get the hammer or wrench or whatever, mallet from the box because you had to click this and then click this and then drag it to open up the lid and then rotate it and then click it. Like it was just for no reason. It was too much for just stupid reasons. So that I wasn't a fan of. But um, I think the atmosphere that the game created was pretty good as well. It was cre creepy. There were all of these sounds in the school, which were creepy as well. I like the hints that the guy would give, like there's someone coming. So you kind of become more aware of your surroundings. Um, character, this is not a character heavy game. It's supposed to be a quick horror survival type game. So uh, nothing really to say about characters. Replay value, zero, of course, especially for a game like this. Um, I would I would recommend it to people who are interested in horror games and kind of just need something quick. If you go into this game expecting greatness, you're going to be disappointed. But if you go into it thinking like, hey, I have a couple hours to kill before X, Y, and Z appointment 
and I just want to get a quick, fun type of game in, I think this could, this could be a great game to play. So that is my review of this game. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. I got some <laughs> a couple good scares out of it, so that was fun. But I think once I got the hang of it, I wasn't that bad, right? I don't think so. But yeah, that was fun.